Hello everyone, this is Mary, and we are playing The Quarry. I'm interested in this because I like Until Dawn, and this is like a bunch of people in it. I mean, you just saw David Arquette pop up on the screen, his name. Uh, Skylar Gazondo, who was one of the Shans in Psych. He was also in The Righteous Gem Zones, so... Lance Henriksen's in this. I have the one of the filters on, so it looks like kind of 80s horror. Ted Raimi's in it. And then I have streamer mode on, so the music is not as... It's going to be copyright-free music, basically. That's what it said anyways, so... I'm curious right now what the actual music would be if I wasn't using streamer mode. <laughs> I do appreciate the fact that they included that, though, because people that want to stream it or record video for it, yeah. Which just makes it a lot easier to, to record and stuff. June 24th. Almost midnight. Why'd you kill the music? There's baby. There's um, baby Sean. I don't think I do. It begins with an L. Like the L word. Lesbians? <laughs> lost, Max. We're lost. We're just, we're in geographic flux. Right. So, lost. That's debatable. I don't know, if you don't know where you're going, I'd say you're lost. Yeah, honey, nice catch. Yes, we did it. Thank you. No, no signal on the phone. Getting worse out here. I guess it's all part of the rustic cemetery <clears throat> experience. Oh, right, that's where we're going. I lost track like 200 miles ago. 200 miles ago, huh? Yeah. You know what, Max, it's okay. It doesn't make you any less of a man. You know, if Columbus hadn't gotten lost and landed on these golden shores, there would be no United States of America. Goodbye hot dogs, see you later apple pie. Columbus never actually landed in North America. What are you talking about? Didn't even know he wasn't in Asia. Are you serious? Just another guy who didn't want to admit he was lost. Well, just another guy who's got a whole day named after him, so put that in your pipe and smoke it. Okay, just get us to camp already before I roll my eyes out of my head, please. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Yeah, that's all I really know about the game is that uh, it's about a summer camp. So we can pick leaflet, pick map. Uh, let's go leaflet. Were there any directions on the flyer? No, just a fake bunch of kids faking it around a fake fire pit. Checks out. Everything okay? Yeah, all good. Hey, eyes on the road, mister. Uh-oh. Max was getting impatient, so I'm sure that's going to play some part in the, uh, in the game. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I mean, still in one piece. Jesus Christ, what do you think that was? A bear? What? No, no, Max, it wasn't a bear. What was it? It was a person. I don't know, there was a person in your back seat that disappeared. Oh, do you think we hit a person? I don't know. I mean, it was really close. 
close, like really close, but maybe we didn't. I don't know. Time to investigate, I guess. What is it? I really have this car up. Well, maybe it looks worse than it is. Uh, I should check out the damage before we try to start it. I was just uh, fixing my, uh, sound on the computer. On the front. Yeah, yeah. All right. <clears throat> I am not using the keyboard. I'm using a mouse. So, so my mom's gonna kill me. Or I'm using a mouse. I'm using a controller. Walk to the back of the car. I guess Snoop. Oh, Landis University. Perhaps. Why didn't you tell me? Probably John Landis, I'm guessing. Thanks, honey. Yeah. Do you need a hand? Yeah, actually, if you could just shine a light right here. There you go. Perfect, thank you. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Just picture yourself curling up in front of a big old fire pit singing campfire sing-alongs. I don't think people curl up right in front of big old fire pits. Why not? Uh, they don't want to catch on fire. Man. Oh, somebody's watching them. better than here. Uh oh, creepy woman in the woods. That's always a good sign. Where are you going? Just over here. Just stay there for a second, okay? I'm almost done. Uh, defiant or hurry up? Um, uh, guess compliant. Well, we'll wait for him. Max, it's a good idea to wait for like another person, especially in horror What's movies. I'm worried that there's somebody down there. Are you serious? Yeah, that, he could be hurt. I don't know. I don't think we actually hit anyone. Well, I don't know. I just I heard something. Okay, like a, a woman. Do you think we hit her? I just want to check it out. Okay. All right. Just don't go too far, okay? Be careful. Yeah. yeah. Right. Pitch blackness is always good. All right, I think the game kind of glitched a little bit there, so I don't know. Look around. Scarum, scarum, show spectacular, okay. Oh, we got an achievement. Okay, there's a poster for traveling sideshow. It looks like it's been here a while. Left forgotten in the woods. Are those the are those burn marks around the edges? Guess we can't do anything with it. Okay, cool. Yay, we got our first little uh piece of I don't know. We got our first piece of something.
Oh, here's something. Chest. <clears throat> Oh, this looks great. Uh, escape algae trunk. Great. Trunk full of strange devices. Uh, an escape algae, perhaps? A relic of traveling show that must have passed through the area. Okay. Cool beans. Well, it's really that way so let's uh let's go i guess over this way silas uh there's nobody here by that name so that way no we can go this way or we can go back the other way Uh oh. It's always good when there's some random ghost woman in the woods saying Silas. There's no indication if we've been this way or not, so we'll just continue. Uh oh, there's somebody there. Where are you? <laughs> oh, shit. Apparently that one really wants to find Silas. Oops, down. Oops, it didn't tell me which direction to go. That's gotta hurt a little bit. Okay, I guess you have to wait, and then it'll tell you which direction. All right. Hey, 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 you okay? Go. Hey, what's wrong? What's wrong? Talk to me, you all right? Jesus Christ, you're all banged up. No, no, there is something out there. Like, uh, there's noises hey, honey, it's everywhere. Okay. Just take a few breaths. Just breathe. Just breathe. It's okay. It's the woods. There's a lot of stuff out there. No. It's easy to freak yourself out. Listen, Especially Matt's... if you're hurt. Can we just get out of here, please? Of course, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Okay, so you have to wait a little bit for the notification to pop up which direction to push. All right. Yes. There we go. Turn like a kid. Max, come on. Here we go. Here we go. We're getting out of here. Are you kidding me? <clears throat> Max. I just okay. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. We've got to go, Max. Laura, you're not helping right now. Can you just? I am trying to get us out of here. All right, enough. Shit, I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> The captions and the voice acting isn't exactly matching up right now. We're okay. There we go. Fix We're itself. The car, really. We're gonna be okay. Oh yeah. Oh. Until you know Ted Rainey oh, shows God. up and it's like hi. Roll it down. Hi, officer. How are you doing this evening? Are either of you injured? No. Uh, well, she bumped her head. Well, barely, barely bumped it. I mean, I can, I can't even feel it. I might get bumped, not my head. I'm fine. Really, we're fine. We're just a little shaken up. I don't trust Ted Raimi. Well, you folks want to tell me what happened here? you uh, oh yeah interrupts so 
at certain times throughout the night. Oh, that's supposed to be like uh, Rod Serling from the chance to take matters uh, Twilight Zone. It is worth noting that they are only suggestions. You don't have to act upon them. In fact, sometimes it's better not to. Okay. Quick time events. Take a moment to consider the following, as it will guide you through the various twists and turns that may appear during your stay at Hackett's Quarry. What you see here are quick time events, or QTEs, which will help you to act at just the right time. Definitely done those so far. Watch your step. Hackett's Quarry can be a dangerous place if you're not paying attention to your surroundings. Take your eye off the ball, and it could spell disaster. The path you tread is yours to choose, but that doesn't mean there won't be obstacles along the way. Okay. And I guess path chosen, which just popped up. Hackett's quarry is full of twists and turns, unknown paths, and unexplored wonders. With each step taken, you tread a path of your own, matched with its very own consequences. There will be moments throughout your stay that show you that the choices you've made, the okay. path you've chosen, could have gone another way. Mm. At Hackett's quarry, there's no such thing as the wrong way. But be warned. Some paths are more dangerous than others. All right. Honest or evasive? I guess we'll be honest. Why not? We, um, uh, something jumped out right in front of the car and we didn't want to hit it. So we swerved and, you know, here we are. Something jumped out. See if this works, being honest. Uh, I'm sorry, it was, it was so dark and it happened so fast and they were gone. Uh, I feel like this chick is honest. Hey. Ma'am, did you hit someone? No, no, God, no, of course not. Uh, you know, I mean, I wasn't scared. I, it could have been an animal. Sir? Path chosen. Get the car running. Cop Sir? seems anxious. Is this guy like the all time scariest cop? I don't know. This is my first cop. What, like ever? Uh, yeah, I'm not a criminal. Maybe we should have been dishonest, but hey, we'll see what happens. Now you folks want to tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night. I mean, we're, we're heading up to Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. We're heading up to the camp, that's the truth. <laughs> Counselors. You're one night early. No, no, we know. Um, but we figured we'd get in early and scope it out. You know, they know we're coming. We called ahead. And to be honest, sir, one of us kind of oversold their navigation skills and got us completely lost. <sighs> You're not going to make it to Haggett's quarry. Not tonight. Harbinger like, Motel. Nearest place you can bunk up there for the night, okay? Uh, I think we're just gonna stick to the plan, sir. I mean, Mr. Hackett knows we're coming and we called ahead. No, ma'am, you're gonna head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand? What is even like an echo to his voice? Let's be insistent this respect, time. Sir. Why can't we go to Hackett's quarry? Because I told you to go to the motel. Uh oh, he's pretty insistent. Okay, I just don't understand what the problem. Ma'am, please step out of the vehicle. Uh oh, what? Why? officer, she didn't do anything. Ma'am, 
If you wouldn't mind stepping out of the vehicle, I would just like to show you a route on your map there. I mean, I feel like you could just show it to them if uh, Max. Uh oh. Remain in the vehicle. If Max, you know, showed the map to you, I feel like uh, okay. it could work out that way. So, we... are right about here. Harbinger Motel is here. Right, okay, and where was Hackett's quarry again? Well, I'm sure the fine folks at the Harbinger Motel can guide you there first thing in the morning. Okay, thanks, Ted Rainey. Bye, you creep. Still, please. Uh oh. What are you doing? Hold. Still. I feel like that's a legitimate question to be asking a cop. Like, what are you doing? I guess we'll just let it happen. Fresh as a daisy. Great. You can return to the vehicle, ma'am. Repo. Harbinger Motel. Stay on the road. No, he doesn't have an axe or a, what if there's an like echo. That? Yeah, I'll have a look. Good night. Okay, bye. This doesn't seem like the pl type of place a cop would be just paroling. Why is this guy just sitting there? That guy was giving me major weirdo vibes. We do need it like at least a dozen shots. Oh my god, I know. What was up with the thing? I Did know. you see was, that? Was it blood? Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Nice to meet you. Let's get the hell out of here. All right. Let's get back on the road. Yes. I think I've had enough woodland encounters for one night. Thank you very much. Agreed. So where's this motel? Okay, so we're here. Mm -hmm. And the motel is here. Okay. But we're going there. What's there? Hackett's Quarry. How'd you do that? I don't know. Kind of tricked me into showing you. <laughs> very slick. I guess we shouldn't just get to the motel and just listen to this guy. Tricked him into showing you. He didn't, like, point it out at all. advice of some creep-ass cop who told us in the middle of the creep-ass woods to go to some creep-ass hotel. No, that sounds terrible. Yeah. Let's hit the road, shall we? That's what I thought. Ma'am. Oh, my God. If he called me ma'am one more time, I was going to shove that badge up his dick hole. <laughs> Seriously, do I look like a ma'am to you? I got, like, 20 years before I'm a ma'am. Mm-hmm. What? One is debatable. Easy. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of into mams. Okay, we're done. <laughs> I feel like they probably should go to the hotel and not the quarry, but that's just me. Established June twenty fifth. So I guess this is Laura. That's the character's name. There's nobody here. We drive all the way the fuck out Max, here. Max, can we just look around before we jump to conclusions? Did you actually even talk to Mr. Hackett, or did you just leave a message? Well, what's the difference? This. This is the difference. Hello. 
guess he doesn't check his voicemail. How was I supposed to know that? I mean, clearly there's somebody here. Yeah, or it's just an abandoned car, and this is a complete waste Why of time. Why would there be an abandoned... I'll beat the car out of you. Max, come on. Max, don't be a dick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, they drove all the way there, and then, you know, there's, like, nothing... Nothing there, nothing happening. Let's explore a little bit before I go to that first part where we could get a, I guess a keepsake? I don't know what to call it. Okay, it doesn't look like we can actually go that way. Alright. Collectibles, keepsakes, I don't know what the game actually calls them. Because there is one at the front door. Okay, and then we can go up. Alright, I guess we'll, I guess we should do this first. It wasn't even a keepsake. I guess it's just a action we can do. All right. Walk this way, see if there's anything. This is a huge lodge, especially for like a summer camp. Oh wow, you, can, you can't even really see what's going on there. Okay, let's head back this way. Yeah, this is a huge lodge. I've been to summer camps and uh, I don't remember the buildings ever being this big. Okay, there was something over here. Tree house, tree walk, fire pit, a jetty, boathouse, a lodge, a car park. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Ah, there we go. Fine. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Kelly Clarkson dime. See if there's anything this way, I guess. Well, there's something definitely in there. Hey! Hey, are you okay? And it, he, I'll be she, right back. I'm get some help. whatever immediately runs away. Do they want help? That's the thing, Max. you know? Max, get over here! What's going on? There's somebody in the bunker. I think they might be stuck. Bring some tools so we can break the lock. Hey, I'm back. We're gonna get you out of there. I don't know if this is a good idea. Wait, what, what are these? I don't know, you just said tools. Why didn't you just bring... Look, there's someone in here. Uh, I'm not seeing anyone. What? No, look. I'm looking, I am. Well, I mean, the person ran away, so... There, there was definitely someone there. Okay. Okay, so... Hammer or wrenches? Um... We'll try the wrench, I guess. You sure? Ah, eh, you know what, let's change. Hammer time. I just wanted to say hammer time. <laughs> wow, that was super loud. Well, that worked. You need a hand? Yeah.
I feel like they should have an actual flashlight instead of just We've their phone Evil. flashlight. We've seen Evil Dead, right? Oh, there's well? a Ted Raimi reference. Are you hurt? You exist? <laughs> Do you exist? Hey, be careful. Ian, uh, that looks like a dog tay or a dog leash or something, or dog collar. Yeah, with some blood on it, that's always lovely. A bloodied collar. The bloody collar looks to be too big for a dog. What kind of dog would be called Ian anyway? Uh, well, maybe it's a person then. I don't know. Which is a little bit creepy if it's a person's collar. Oh. And, you know, that lovely body. Max? We can't really do much with the body. Thing there. Hun, maybe it was a possum or something. No, there was there was someone here, I swear. Hey. It's been kind of a night, you know? Let's just get to the motel. We can come back here first thing in the morning, we can check everything out, but looks like it's something in his ear. Exhausted. I know I am. I think our imagination. Uh oh. Max? Max? Uh oh. Max! Guess what? Help. Uh oh. Oh no, baby Sean, I don't want you to die. I'm clearly gonna help him. I'd be such a shitty person if I left him behind. Path chosen. I'm not gonna leave him, that'd be so shitty. I mean, it's hurt because we wanted to go into this, like, cellar area. <clears throat> I think, uh, I think he might be dead, but... Uh-oh. 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 Oh, Ted Raimi, I knew it. Uh, poor baby Sean. Poor Max. Huh. 
wondering how you could make it so he doesn't die. Trying to, I'm trying to figure that out. Hello, my friend. Welcome to the show. Oh, hi. We are friends, aren't we? Oh, I recognize her, but I can't I've think of the, who that you. is. I've waited. Yes. So I do hope our time together proves enlightening. There's no need to worry. I'm here to help you. Think of me as your guide. Are you sure? I don't know about that lady. Yes. And terrifying. But if you're brave enough, if you let me help you, I can help you. We can help each other. You didn't find anything, and so I've nothing to show you. You need to look harder. The cards are out there. If you don't help me, how can I help you? We're supposed to be friends. You said so yourself. Search harder. Only you can find them. There are secrets out there, you know. Secrets and lies. Paths to uncover. On which... I can shed light, if you let me. Help me help you. And remember, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Oh, la-da-da. Oh, well, we did the prologue, so there we go. She was in Armageddon, but I don't really remember her in that. Because I haven't seen Armageddon in, like, forever. You know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. Uh, they'll go over reflective. You never know, I guess. I mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of uh, working these things out. The universe? Yeah, like the uh, the cosmic space gods. Space gods. Did you heard me? Okay, spell it. Nothing to spell. You know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. So she dumped her ass, huh? <laughs> Hi, Emma. Hey. <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will you? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. All right, so now we're this dude. We do have a little bit more control of moving around than uh, we did as, I think, Laura. Oh, here's the sour from earlier. I'm just going to call it a cellar, even though she called it a bunker. See if there's anything you can do. Okay, well, we can do this. Now there's Justice Smith. <clears throat> hey, what do you, uh, what do you listen to? Good to know. <laughs> that was so informative. And Justice Smith didn't really want to talk to us. I don't know who we're playing right now. That's Brenda Song, who we already talked with. 
anything there. I'm just trying to explore and see if we can actually, like, do anything besides, uh, like, help her out. Jake, bags, focus. Yeah, 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 I got it, I got it. Bags, focus. Anything there. Wonder if we go up there and look around if we can do anything. Oh wait, there's someone over here. Okay, so the map we kind of saw earlier. Doesn't make you it doesn't kill you, will make you doesn't stronger. Doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Not in the mood, Simon. Looks like there was a scrapyard. Again, I'm playing with the streamer mode, so uh, I don't know what music would actually be in the game. I'm obviously going to play the game on my own, uh, just to see what music was in it. Jesus Christ. Hi. Hey, are you guys going to help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's... Dylan, come it's on. broken. Dylan, uh huh. Please. Sure, dude. I gotta get the last bags What's in there. Come wrong on. With this thing? Is this Dylan. <laughs> oh man, sorry, I can't help. <sighs> cool, thanks, guys. Dylan seems like a real friend. Try again. Dipshit's bolted it. Really? Gee, what a great group of guys. They like block lock the door so we can't get in. What what a great group of pals. Okay, so nothing over here. It's daytime, so now we can actually explore up here just to see if there's anything. Be a nice place to have a camp. I mean, except for all the mysterious shit that's going on and evil Ted Rainey. Oh, there's something here. Skill. <laughs> Skill just getting in an open window. <laughs> okay, sure, dude. Ugh. Horror. I hate horror. You hate horror? What the hell, dude? I'm sorry, you and I cannot be friends if you hate horror. Well, we could, but still. You just magically hate horror? Okay. I love that we're supposed to be helping with the bags, but we're just doing, like, everything else. We're just exploring this house. Okay. So, at least we open the door. Let's get back in. Try to explore a little bit. Oh, wait. There go. Oh, we found a tarot card, Temperance. Uh, to be balanced, to consume in moderation or indulge in excess temperance. Take it or leave it, but remember, sometimes with temperance comes deferred gratification. Okay, so we found a tarot card, Cool Beans. I like games like this where, you know, you can kind of explore, do what you want. There's not really a set path. And, uh, I mean, I don't necessarily love characters dying, but... <laughs> We don't know what happened to Laura. Oh, man, she just a got place to get stuck. Uh, she just got a needle in her neck. All right, so we can't do it that way. Oh, okay. So it just does that again. It doesn't look like you can skip. Okay. All right. Get a close up of this dude's face. I'm not gonna remember most people's names in this, sadly. All right. Let's continue looking around. Didn't do anything there. It's a pretty big mess hall. I'm just gonna call it a mess hall, even though it's a uh, like a dining room area. All right, got the bags. 
Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god, you are so mean. At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, <laughs> here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Oh, okay, so now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. <laughs> oh. oh, sorry, I just got so distracted about that rhyme, I forgot what we oh, were... Oh, no, 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 uh, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? Ah, oh, sexy, huh? How does that camp by far? Okay, sure. Uh, look, it was all settled by the girls in bunk seven, like second day of camp. It goes Ryan, me of course, then Dylan, and <laughs> Abby. Okay. Nick, and then Mr. H, and... Okay, are you almost finished? Please. Yep, that's it. That's everyone. <laughs> that's everyone except you. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't... Okay. Her whole thing is like, how are we gonna make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? <laughs> oh, but I mean, seriously, come on, she's right. It's just like a stupid summer fling. What else did I think was going to happen? Uh, let's see. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, Divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, empty nest, <laughs> retirement, grandkid, 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 uh, nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. Ah, uh, she's so positive. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. That was Ryan and me. <laughs> uh, let me see. Ah, here it is. Yours just says... Roadhead. Oh, lovely. Oh, actually, that's just a generic all men list. Oh, that seems legit. <laughs> okay, so are we sure that this old restaurant Caitlin isn't buying it? We'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, if it doesn't kill you, it'll make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> Uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was, like, a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Guess we'll just have to find out. I wonder if he's going to try to, uh, uh, so we have to do one of these things. Um. Guess break fuel line? I don't know. I don't want to do either of these things. Oh, this looks important. Shit. I will hook you right back up tomorrow. I think you promise. Probably should have chosen the a rotor arm. Oh well. Up here, my dudes. Why do they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D don't, don't. Go long. Oh, dick. What a dick. Oh. oh, there it is. Oh, Ooh. man, good sight. Ooh. Freak. Oh, oh. Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Oh. Freaks. <clears throat> Surrounded by freaks. <clears throat> oh, thank God. I mean, I get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is... 
being dumped in emergency. Oh, Ben. <laughs> uh, okay, well, at least I had a relationship this summer. We're trying to make this guy oh, sort of nice and not a gone. total douchebag, yeah, so. Well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hook. Okay, 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 let's all put our little dick swank at the show on the road, huh? Where is everybody else? Why, why would I know that? I don't know. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any cheeky wins. Okay, yeah, keep dreaming, Jimmy. Look how nice and peaceful it is. As if nothing evil ever happens here. A lot of cabins. So this is Abigail. Oh, uh, Ariel Winter's character. You can clearly draw. Pretty cool. I think she has a nose ring? It's hard to tell. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Oh boy. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito-infested backwoods dump. Doors locked. Bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. I guess we need our bags, so okay. I guess we'll break in. Let's do it. We better not get in trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? He'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One, two, three! Ugh. Path Only chosen. The power of positive thinking. It really oh, took a lot for them to break open the door, didn't right? it? Emma is proud sure of you. Was a bear? Oh my god, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. Abigail has the style that I would wear if uh, if I could pull it off. You know, the shorts with the t-shirt. I mean, I wear that stuff. But uh looks like there's like a moon on her shirt. And then uh, she has like pretty cool hair. Freak show goes up in flames. Why would this place be in the news? Crap from the local newspaper, the North Kill Gazette. Oh, North Kill Gazette. Uh, it doesn't look recent. Something about a fire was it here at Hackett's Quarry. The Freak Show fire is an important part of the game, I guess. Room 10. Oh, something else. Can't believe I'm actually gonna miss all those lumpy loose springs. Nothing over there. I'm just double checking. Aww. It's just little Izzy's. Kind of a cute little bear. Or a rabbit. I wanna play a game! <laughs> this missing eye. We're gonna keep. Let's get you back to Izzy. Ass updated. All right. I think it's the first time that's happened. All right. I think that's it for this. Okay, so we can move, do that to move around there. 
Let's try to see if we can explore anywhere else. Can't really move faster, as far as I can tell. Oh, there's someone here. Oh, her little backpack's like a bat. That's cute. It's gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcement. Yeah, I like her shirt. Uh oh, looks like somebody was in the window. So the game does have like some issues so far. I mean, it was just launched not that long ago where it does freeze up a couple of times and stuff, but uh, yeah, I apologize for that. Hopefully you're watching this. Got some tats going on. I don't know if Ariel Winter actually has tats in real life or not, but... I bet she was in Modern Family if you're not aware. Definitely some people I recognize in this game, and then other people I'm like, I'm not- I recognize them, but I can't place where they're from, so we can't go in there. I don't know if we can actually go in any of these cabins or not. I want to I wanna try to explore and see if we can or not. Guess not. We'll just walk by some of them and see what happens. I like that the characters are at- she's actually, like, looking around like you would if you're walking around, you know? Let's go back here. Oh, well, that's the exit, so we don't want to go that way, I don't think, yet. Okay. I think that's if we actually want to leave room 5. Okay, we're room 10, right? Well, there's the pool. That's actually a pretty good-sized pool. Again, I just want to see if there's anything we can actually do. Uh, we can't climb up in there. It's a pretty big tree. It's a nice, size, nice area for, like, a summer camp. I don't think we can do anything... Here. I think we're all done. Alright, let's head over to that chick. Would have liked to have explored the pool area, but I don't think we can. Oh, there's some signs. We'll look at those and see what it says. Tokyo, Boston... Wait, there we go. <sighs> let's see... Information signpost. Uh, chapter 1 Camp Cabins. Though this is a novelty signpost, it also acts as a chilling reminder that Hackett's Quarry really is a long way from anywhere. Alright, so Tokyo. Let's try to see what's on there. Uh, I gotta back up a little bit. I think that's Coney Island. Yeah, Coney Island, Tokyo, Boston, Burbank, Death Valley, Decatur, Toledo. Oh, it's saying how many miles away it is. Okay. Uh, Seoul and San Francisco. Alright. Can't run or anything. Can't jump or run or anything. Alright. Oh. Well, we can't go that way. We have to- we have to go over this way. Ready to roll? Guess so. Let's do it. Finally. Doesn't seem like there was anything else to explore unless I missed something. Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, 
in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Okay, so she likes Nick. Jinkies. Uh, okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud, kind of like you and Jacob? He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Four states away? That's yeah, sure. not that bad. But you could do a whole us. You and Nick. long distance relationship okay. thing. Why don't you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Uh, why the hell not? Let's go. We probably should go back to the lodge, but let's go. Sure. Vic let's That's go scenic route. Two months, no technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my stuff's in here. Okay, so she is some sort of, I guess, streamer or something. You know what? I actually believe you. Abby, was that a compliment? I feel like Abby's the Your nice kind of chick. What can I say? <laughs> I'd subscribe. You better. As soon as you get home, sub, share, smash that like button. The holy trinity. Okay, well now I'm really regretting it. Oh no, you love me. <laughs> My favorite spot? The fire pit? The island. Not so cool spot. Right? Is is that smoke? Uh oh. It is. Should we tell someone? Hmm. It looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mister H burning some stuff before you know he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should we should probably you know say about it. Oh yeah, worried Nick's you know gonna leave without you. Well, no, they're probably like all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick, waiting for you. All, everyone, it's waiting. <laughs> Got a snake ring going on. And a Dylan. Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas. So. Oh fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here, anyways, dude. Okay, this place is like patchy as balls. <laughs> Your balls are patchy. What? No. <laughs> it's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mister H before we go. Uh, you. <laughs> characters look a little weird hey, walking where, there. Where you guys? <gasps> okay, like? so she likes the dude with the accent. Please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up onto the. Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me um, let me get it for you. I can take care of my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because I mean, it's really not that big. She of a can deal. take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag, thank you. Cool. Uh, uh, Abby, do you need? Yeah. Can I? Thank you. 
friend obviously knows he likes Abby. <laughs> I'm guessing. Hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having okay, so that's Ryan. Ryan. Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? <laughs> you think I was listening to a podcast <laughs> about you? It's conceited. Okay, if anyone knew the podcast about them, it would be me. Uh, yeah, there's a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. No, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. Th this episode was actually about this place, weird enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Uh, if I did, would I be asking, dumbass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's uh, Quarry. Can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are, like, reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around you know textbook ghost stuff some people say that if she catches you alone she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or well the first part know. was sort really of sweet anyway, but creepy Haga Haggis Corey you made that up it's right here in the podcast man <laughs> cool story bro Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred. I feel like this life. guy's a dick, but I'm playing him as being, like, I mean, supportive and no, shit. I don't know why. Life. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Dude, this shit's true. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Hey, uh, uh, oh, there's range. David Arquette. Up to it. Get those butts in gear. Ah, Dewey. Sorry, Mr. H. We had to liberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to impress the ladies with all his ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. First name's C, so I wonder what nope. his... Charlie, maybe? I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. <laughs> Let's be annoyed. Come on, that's like super unchill. Hey, dude, I'm like the chillest flipping bro in the whole world, man. <laughs> I just need some tunes for the ride, man. I feel like he'd be a, p a bit right, pissy about it. Five minutes? Like, like, five minutes, that's all I need, man. He said no, Dylan. Okay, yeah, I know, but I was just... I feel like he'd be kind of the van. a dick about yeah. it. So, uh... Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Ah, uh, Chris, okay. Uh, uh oh. I'm not I said Charlie, I? didn't I? So Chris. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing. Oh, about the whole thing with, with the. Hold that thought, partner. I'm going to have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I had to oh, take it apparently oh, by myself. You didn't oh. even ask who it was. Uh, I feel like this guy would be chill. He'd probably just listen to his podcast.
Sorry about that, bud. Sorry about that, bud. Didn't mean to push you out like that. See, we didn't get caught snooping, so that's positive. Probably should have eavesdropped, but hey. Uh, you need a hand? Looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy. So, anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what we thought I should do. Right. Y you know, so, uh, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents, since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. My, fam my family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, right? Become a detective with Pikachu. Dang it. Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> I have a date with the hag. So, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents? Letter after letter. These terrified kids. Oh, because he's telling them the ghost stories, I guess. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway can't. It's kind of bad for business. What? So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories. It was just a little fun. I guess we'll make him apologetic. Sorry. I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Gotta understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to Kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? <laughs> Kumbaya. Do Kumbaya anymore? Da 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 da. Kumbaya. Cliches. <laughs> Jesse, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Oh, I wonder why. We'll be inquisitive. Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's quite true, but okay. Just give me a minute. Good goddamn, are they? Somebody stole them. Well, the van is already messed up because. Can you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? He's the one dude like broke the oh, was gas line year. or something. Caleb works at the scrap yard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. There you go. Right where I left them. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. Let's skedaddle. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it, let's go. For the game, I have the deluxe edition, so I have the DLC, but I don't know how you equip, like, 80s problem? outfits for oh. the characters. Dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. Oh, no. I, see that. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, just, like, 
kaput. All right, let me try. Even though he wrecked it earlier, what, damaged it. Morning. All right, it's busted. Well, maybe you're it's doing busted. it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Not, He's not being kind of a dick right now, actually. Shit. Come on. Right, come on. Chill. Chill, dude. I'm gonna... Holy. Uh oh. Everybody back. Now, now, now. Jacob, wait, 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 wait. I got this. God damn it, I said wait. Oh shit. Uh oh. I wasn't looking. I didn't see the thing pop up. Oh, we probably should have uh, done the rotor arm instead. This thing is toast. Oops. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, we'll just spend one more night here. <laughs> it's no. not that big of a deal, no. but I messed this just up. Just stop. Let me think. David Arquette seems really against the stay in the night. Ah! <sighs> okay. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Hey, Brown, come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning, and we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay if inside. something is so dangerous, why is David Arquette leaving? Uh, I feel like he should be staying here Lock with the them. Doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down! What was that about? He, uh, said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Um. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or, or we could do something else. Yeah, let's do something else for sure. No, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. P A R T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? You could have a party inside. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, dude. Fuck yes, I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seems pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He, he's just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um... Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? I'm sure he's just looking out for us. No big deal. All right, yeah. No, Party. I, I didn't mean. High five. Touch my hand, Ryan. Oh, touching your hand. 
I'm sorry. You made me promise. Dude, he won't even know. Of course, they're oh, getting no. bored of him, There's but no, I mean, All right. we're gonna stick you with our guns. Disappoint Daddy. <laughs> yeah, well, someone's gotta give a shit. Oh. You know what? <gasps> I don't even care what you guys do. Oh. I'm doing what Chris told me. Ryan, come on, man. Wait. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Hacketeers. Party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, okay. First things first. Nick and Abby, you go get some firewood. Uh, M and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones or something. All right, let's do this. Sake. It kind of looks like the the sight of a gun. Uh oh. I don't trust that. Oh, of course it's Lance Henriksen. And some really bloodied up dude. Uh, I don't know what that stuff is, but cool. Uh, well, apparently it's blood, so good times for all, I guess. hunting season what are they going to be hunted uh oh oh we're back to this woman again hoping you'd come back to me let's see what you've found Found a tarot card, at least. Temperance. <laughs> to be balanced. To consume in moderation. Or to indulge in excess. Temperance. Take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes... With temperance comes... Deferred... Gratification. There's more I can show you, if you like. I was hoping you'd say that. Forewarned is forearmed. We've got an achievement. Okay. Shells. Somebody getting shot. Be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. I've been looking out for your cards. I've only found the one. I'd like to find more of your cards. All right, played the prologue and chapter one. Oh, we got some paths going on here. Oh, so love at first sight, journey through all the twists and turns of young love and discover just how much of a relationship can endure if you path. Uh, Laura tried to help Max after he was attacked in the storm cellar or storm shelter. Oh, is that it? No, seems like the only path thing we can see. Yeah, it doesn't really let us do anything else. We tried to help him above the law. You'll never take me alive. A shot in the dark could come back to haunt you with the long arm of the law ever extending. Whether it holds a gun or an olive branch at the end is up to you. We were honest with the cop. Okay. 
Well, that just switches over. I don't know how we see, like, the other stuff. Oh, wait. Okay, above the law. Yeah, it doesn't let us really... I don't know how we see the next part of the thing. Oops. We don't want to continue. Ass. Okay, a fool's errand. Can we click on that? Can we drag it? No, I don't know how we do this. Uh, J uh, Jacob uncoupled the fuel line while sabotaging the minivan. Yeah, I don't know how you like switch to the next part of the story. Okay. Yeah, we only have one tarot card so far. The camp, we have the camp lodge, the camp cabins, and the camp store, which I think we're going to counter now. Emma, prepare for the party. Clues. So we've really only found a few clues. We have three of nine for the freak show fire. Uh, we don't have any of Hackett's history yet. And then we have two of twelve of the... We have the bloody collar. Uh, camp history. I think that's it. And the path down the rabbit hole. I want to play a game, something, toys with you, but perhaps you can turn the tables by following a path unknown. Remember, findings that seem insignificant could be your last hope of survival. Uh, Emma, or Abby, Abby chose to help Emma break in. Oh, well, now it's letting me do it. Okay, so Abby was able to explore inside the cabin, and she f put the forgotten toy in her bag. Okay. Fool's errand, Jacob uncoupled the fuel line when sabotaging the minivan, and then he tampered with it, which caused it to light. Cause on a light. The only thing we have for above the law, and then Max and Laura, this is the only thing we have for them. Alright, so I guess that's it. I keep going to that by mistake. But, uh, yeah, so we completed, I guess, chapter, the prologue and chapter one. So I guess that's it for the, uh, game, yes. You and then we'll continue on at a later date but uh yeah thank you for watching i hope you enjoy it i'm definitely gonna i don't know if i can create multiple files or not this is what the main screen looks by, like by the way so yeah you have movie mode which watch from a selection of predestined outcomes which is kind of cool couch co-ops you can play with friends uh i don't have a 2k account and then if you go to settings they have different things to show actually if i go to settings where is it uh i think it's the graphics no it's display yeah we have windowed uh display yeah so down here i have 80s horror but there's indie horror classic horror which is black and white and then off so i have 80s horror turned on but uh yeah thank you guys for watching i appreciate it definitely interested to see how the rest of the story goes but uh, if you have any comments suggestions anything feel free to leave them below and i appreciate you tuning in have a great one and i'll talk to you later bye everyone